Morning, Bill. Hello, Keith. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Well, the weather could be any time of the year, couldn't it? <laughs> could be any time of the year. It could be. It could be a dull spring day, a dull it could summer be day. Middle of summer. Yeah. Anything like that. However, that's a repeat sorted. No, exactly so. <laughs> we can run this any time we want. Good. But I'm quite interested in what's in the pot over there. Well, I thought it was fantastic. I thought we might. I was cooking an apple today. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're on the telly, aren't we? <laughs> Hey, so we are. You've had a promotion. <laughs> no, so that doesn't happen often at the BBC. It doesn't happen. No, you're right. Not we're very right, often. We've got an apple cooking there yeah. on the stove. Yeah. But we're also doing a lovely cassoulet. Yes, yeah, a cassoulet. A goose cassoulet. Well, I know you love the French food. I do. But I thought a cassoulet took about three days to put together. Well, it does. And that is the thing. Uh, I've got this recipe here, which is a brilliant cassoulet recipe. Yeah. John Burton Race it is. Mm -hmm. It's two pages. Very, very complicated stuff it is isn't it yeah. but actually if you've done a sunday roast mm -hmm. you've probably got most of it okay um i know you're wondering i'm not on the rich list mm. how can i be affording goose goose because this time of the year they're not cheap are they no uh last one i had last christmas i think it was 60 70 quid <sighs> but i went to a supermarket i don't always go to and i can't tell you the name because we're on the bbc exactly but i thought i was a german char uh, i thought it was a german car showroom did you yeah i did oh, yeah. it wasn't a mercedes a volkswagen <laughs> so i can't work out which one it was <laughs> anyway i went there and they do a frozen goose for 1999. wow and it was pretty yeah it was pretty good i roasted it on sunday and i'll tell you about that later uh but it what probably if i'm honest it wasn't quite as good as a fresh local one, mm -hmm. but as always with these things, it, it wasn't four times worse, which no. is a price. Okay. Do you know what I mean? It's so like wine, good. isn't it? You, get, you pay, you, a 10 quid bottle of wine is not 10 times worse than a 100 quid bottle. No. Not that I know about 100 quid bottles. You're losing wine, me now, though. Yeah. <laughs> Please, I can never do that. <laughs> and probably. Anyway, so what I'm saying is it's really good and it was okay. nice, and it means you can have it any time of the year. Even if we are possibly coming up to Christmas. Mm. <laughs> you might, you might not. <laughs> anyway, cassoulet. So I started off a little bit earlier because it does take a little bit of time. Mm. Uh, and I cooked off some onions and I cooked off a little bit of leek in there, in the goose fat, which is always good for roasting and frying and all that sort of thing. I also put in uh, some of the butter beans, which obviously you need beans. Mm -hmm. So like we, yeah, we drain off that liquid because it's sort of just syrup, really, isn't mm. it? You know what I mean? So we get rid of that. Uh, we put some of that in. We put in a little bit of bacon, obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay. Smoked bacon. Smoked streaky bacon. Lovely, yeah. Yep. Nice. Uh, probably put the bacon in earlier if you're really on the ball. Yeah. I was you know what I mean? That. Before the beans. So it doesn't I'm matter. Not, I'm not it's already right. going to be boiled, so that's all right. <laughs> Um, then I've chopped up some of the goose and also the stuffing. And when you say, yeah, a cassoulet will take hours and hours and hours, you're right. I mean, people start it the day before. Mm. But of course, you've got everything. Yeah. If you've got most of it, most of the time it's making the stock. Well, you've got that if you've mm. done Sunday lunch. It might not be called stock. It might be called gravy. <laughs> we might not call it jus, but we've got gravy, haven't we? Well, that'll do, won't it? Um, and uh, I've also got a little bit of the bones. I always use the bones of anything mm. that we cook. Uh, oh, you're wondering, you're thinking, wow. why on earth has he got a sieve in there if he's not sieving it out? Secret is, you put the sieve in, mm. and that means that you can take it out and still leave it simmering. Uh, good stuff. See what I mean? Very good. So a little bit of stock in there. Stir it all around. We've had the bacon, we've had the meat. Uh, what we will need is a little bit of herb. A little bit of thyme, maybe. Mm -hmm. A little bit of rosemary. And if ever you're going to grow one garden herb, I know you like your garden, mm. rosemary's the one. Rosemary. All year round mm. and easy to grow. Thyme, is, I struggle with thyme. Do you get your thyme all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It must be me. No, it's because of my wife, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a way to go, isn't it? <laughs> bit of that. Oh, we're almost done with our record now. Shall we have one? Yeah. We'll finish this off in a minute. Lovely. Nice record. Oh, I like that record. I thought you would. I really, it really cheered me up. Yeah. 
Because I'd lost my way a bit earlier. Oh, I, don't I was think off so. on a, some sort of ramble. No, no, you were fine. But we we'll we'll stick to the path. That's now, what you're so always we'll, like. We we'll stick to the path. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Yeah. We've got that cassoulet going. Look at that. You can do it on top on top of the stove. Or you can put it inside the mm. stove, whichever you want to do. That's sort of like a medium heat. Now there is a endless discussion with cassoulet. Mm. Do you put breadcrumbs on top or do you not? Right, you put if you put the breadcrumbs on top, on top, you've got to then put it under a, a heat. To yeah, then you do it in the oven. Cross the oven. I quite like it a little bit looser, mm. a little bit lighter. If you put the breadcrumbs, it every obviously it absorbs a lot of the liquid, mm. and it's quite a dense thing. Mm. But it was it was a fill you up meal, wasn't it? Oh, it was. Yeah, I mean, I was from what I gather, uh, it comes from southwest France, and it was. What they use at some particular moment in history when they were being besieged, right? Uh, whatever food they had, they stuck it all into a big pot. So hence, you know, a bit of goose, a bit of pork belly, a bit of sausage, yeah, whatever right. they could find. That's right. And they basically made a great big casserole there. Well, that's what we've done with that's our what, leftovers. Yeah, we have. It's great, isn't it? I'll quickly. So if, we're, if we're going to be besieged, we're going to be okay. We'll be all right. I don't mind if they come to the door now. <laughs> we won't let them in, will we? No, because that'd be no good, would it? If you just open the door, if you're being besieged, no, that'd be rubbish. Absolutely. Anyway, we've got a pot of casserole. We'll be oh. okay. Anyway, quickly, mm. I did that goose yesterday after yeah. defrosting it. I did a, a sort of spicy thing where I melted honey with some Chinese five spice, some star anise, orange juice, lemon juice, and lime juice, and painted it with an old paintbrush, well, a new paintbrush. Good, good. You don't want a lot of magnolia all over it, no, that don't. would be horrible. <laughs> so I've got a new paintbrush, I painted the goose, and then let it dry. And if that's the same thing that you do with Peking duck. Oh, a little bit of soy sauce mm-hmm. with that to make it, you know, Chinesey. Anyway. I use the, 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 just let it dry. What sometimes they say is use a hair dryer. Do I? That dries it. But I, you and I don't have a hair dryer in the house. I haven't needed one it's for several years. It's been ages since okay. I've had a blow dry, too fast. <laughs> Look like yourself. Yeah, it's a long really. time. I was <laughs> dreading saying that. Yes. <laughs> Just quickly move on to the recipe book. Yeah, the recipe anyway, book, though, and that's it, really, that's right. it. You put it in the oven, a medium oven. Yeah. You, do, you can cover it up if you like, but I like it nice and crispy on the outside. Uh, I put it in, it was about four kilos, and I put it in for, let me think, two and a half, three hours. And it was gorgeous. Was it? Absolutely gorgeous. Great. Yeah. What about the fat? You had to put it on a tray, so the fat... Yeah, I got about a litre of fat out of it, wow. which would be fantastic, as we know, for our roasters. And to fantastic. start off a cassoulet. Well, there we are. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Great. <laughs> well, there it is. What a safe flow job. Uh, uh, right, here we go.